Curse of the Black Sun is a prophecy in the Witcher universe that foretold the end of humanity. So welcome to my special October or around Halloween videos where it's an excuse for me to talk about more disturbing, spooky stuff and also just go over the top and, and decorate. I just, I love Halloween so much. You can probably tell. If you want to see my previous year's content, I should have playlists, so you can check those out. So this video, I want to talk about the Curse of the Black Sun in the Witcher universe that was a prophecy that said 60 women would lead to the end of humanity. And by the end of this video, I want you to tell me, do you think this curse was real or not? First, if you aren't familiar with the Witcher universe, I have an intro video to it that will get you up to speed quickly, but if you aren't, just know in this world there is magic and magical monsters. The story is set during the Middle Age type time period, however their world is close to a technological breakthrough. In this world, those that are skilled and educated in the use of magic are known as mages or sorcerers, sorceresses, and wizards. These magic users are incredibly powerful, have vast knowledge of science and politics, and therefore are pretty much the equals of many rulers. They themselves think that is true, and mages have stuck their fingers in politics, seeking more control of kingdoms and areas to bring about their own desires. So with that basic intro out of the way, again, if you want a more in-depth one, you can check out my Intro to the Witcher Universe video, I want to talk about the Curse of the Black Sun. The whole affair was started by a mage known as Eltabald, who through deciphering writings, tombstones, and examining legends and traditions of different people, noticed a trend. They all spoke of an eclipse. During this eclipse, or Black Sun, Lilith would return and bring about the end of the human race. And much isn't known of Lilith, though she is worshipped under the name Naya in the East. And really, she could be a demon or goddess. And depending on where you are, people might have uh, their opinions go to one way or the other. But in the Northern Kingdoms, it was believed she would bring about the end of humanity. Because of this fear of her in the Northern Kingdoms by humans, Eltabal's findings and prophecy helped spark fear of her return. According to Eltabal, Lilith's path of destruction would be prepared by 60 women wearing gold crowns born during or after the eclipse, who would fill river valleys with blood. This was known as the Curse of the Black Sun and meant that 60 girls born during or after a certain eclipse would be possessed by demons, cursed, and would lead to absolute destruction. This led to noble wizards hunting down girls they believed to be cursed or contaminated by the Black Sun. And their method of doing this at first wasn't great because they decided, yeah, we need to fucking kill them. So they started performing higher magic on these girls, so noble born girls that were born during or after the eclipse. And usually with these higher magics, they also brought them to temples where priests helped them with that. And all those girls died. And then after they died, they did autopsies, even a, a vivisection on one, which is just gross. In one girl, they found things inside the skull and marrow that couldn't be described, but appeared to be some sort of red sponge. Some of her internal organs were missing, and the ones she had were all mixed up. Her heart was six-chambered. What was most disturbing was that everything inside her body was covered in moving cilia, bluish pink shreds. Not only that, but the wizards claimed that these noble girls born during or after the eclipse were especially aggressive, temperamental, and just plain homicidal. They were basically monsters in little girl skins. However, it soon became obvious they made a few mistakes and killed girls that were not cursed or mutated when they did autopsies and found out they did a, a few whoopsies. So they found picking out the right 60 girls was incredibly difficult, so instead they began to stop getting rid of them by killing them and decided to trap them in towers to isolate them from people. But the wizards underestimated the girls and their will to escape, and they soon found that a lot of the girls actually found a way out of the towers. And then there was also this really annoying fad of princes wanting to rescue beautiful women trapped in towers by evil wizards, so, you know, that was a whole thing. Mostly, you know, younger princes that didn't have much to do or, or much to lose. While most of those princes did break their necks trying to save the beautiful women out of the towers, some did actually succeed. And there are actually quite a few examples of girls that were trapped in those towers, escaped, and then went on to have a reign of absolute terror. 
Unfortunately, there were plenty of girls that never escaped the tower, and those would soon die from refusing to eat. But the wizards noted that before they died, they would have prophetic visions. But were these girls truly cursed? Although there were people that believed Eltebald was correct, there were many that felt he was insane. Instead of the Curse of the Black Sun, it became known by some as the Mania of Mad Eltebald. And that this mad wizard started a prophecy that caused dozens of girls from good, even noble families to be murdered and imprisoned in towers. And there are conspiracy theories that the Council of Wizards took advantage of the ravings of a madman to get what they wanted to strengthen their positions in authority and get a better stranglehold in politics. Using the Curse of the Black Sun, wizards could deem a girl born near the Eclipse was cursed and therefore break up alliances, ruin marriages, and stir up entire dynasties. As Geralt said, to tangle the strings of crown puppets even more. There's also a case that the wizards were actually the ones that mutated the girls, so we know they did higher magics on them, and we also know that magic in this world can cause mutations in people. So maybe they did these higher magics on the girls, they eventually died, and when they did an autopsy, oh, look, there's mutations. But not because of the Curse of the Black Sun. As for the women being especially violent and homicidal, if you were told you were a monster for something that wasn't your fault when you were born and you were locked in a tower or experimented on, wouldn't you want some revenge? Wouldn't you be a little hostile? So can you blame these women for being more aggressive? However, regardless of the original intent, there were wizards who believed that the curse was real and they weren't doing it for political means. Or so we're really led to believe there's a lot of strong evidence. So while maybe originally the Council of Wizards or some wizards were doing it for political power and taking advantage of a madman, there were wizards who thought they were doing the right thing by killing these girls or imprisoning them. And if you want to read a story about a wizard that actually believed he was doing the right thing and truly believed in the prophecy, I would pick up the book The Last Wish and go to the Lesser Evil short story. It's a really short read, it's really good, and you also see it from two different perspectives, actually three, but from a wizard who believed in the prophecy and then from a girl that was affected by that prophecy being made and you get to decide whether you think she was actually cursed by the Black Sun or not. And then of course you also have Geralt and his perspective on the whole thing. So it's a really good read and honestly if you want to read a short story about the curse of the Black Sun, I would definitely pick up that book and at the very least just go to that chapter. You don't need to really read the rest of the book to enjoy the short story. Also, I absolutely love Stregobor, so read it and let me know if you like Stregobor or if you just think he's a total piece of shit. Finally, I wanna leave you with a journal entry for The Curse of the Black Sun, and then I want you to let me know in the comment section down below if you think this curse was real or if it was made up by the wizards or maybe it was just the ravings of a madman. Eltibol's prophecy had wide repercussions. To this day, the debate rages as to whether it proved true or the ravings of a madman. In all certainty, there occurred a solar eclipse after which many mutated girls were born. Some of them were isolated from society immediately, from whence the tales of princesses imprisoned in towers atop glass mountains and princes who set out to rescue them. Rumor abound regarding bloody female outcasts born under the black sun and resembling women only in appearance. Many say the creatures proved nothing more than cruel monsters. Mages agreed to explore the matter and proceeded to employ various means in the investigations. Vivisections proved necessary in some cases, proving the only certain way of revealing the evil mutations. The Curse of the Black Sun was prophesied by the mage Eltibald, who predicted the return of Lilith, a mythical being who is to bring ruin upon the world. Lilith's second coming will be preceded by the appearance of 60 maidens wearing gold crowns who will fill the river valleys with blood, thus preparing the way. So like, subscribe, and again, let me know in the comment section down below that if you believe in the Witcher universe, this curse was real and there were these mutated homicidal girls, or if it was just wizards trying to get more control. And come back for more special darker content for the month of October. Thank <laughs> you.